The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One day, some parents were bringing their children to Jesus so that he might bless them. The disciples tried to stop the parents from bringing the children. When Jesus saw this, he scolded them and said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them. The kingdom of God belongs to those who are like little children. Anyone who wants to share in the kingdom of God must be like these little children. Then Jesus put his arms around the children and welcomed them, and he put his hands on them and blessed them. The Gospel of the Lord. A six years old girl and seven years old boy living in Europe around 100, 150 years ago uh, were told by the parents that they are moving to America. And the family, having saved up all the money uh, to, to buy the tickets, is taking the ship to uh, New York. And after a very long, long train ride, they arrive at the seaport and boarded a large ship. And the crossing of the ocean would take two weeks. But the family was prepared. They took all the provisions, some bread, some cheese, some many things that, to sustain the whole family on this journey. Living deep in, uh, within the ship, with no windows and a very little to do, the boy and the girl quickly became bored and tried uh, of some, tired of some of this, uh, this old food, this old bread, uh, always, all the time, on every meal. One afternoon, when their parents fell asleep, the little boy says to his sister, Quick, now is our chance to get out of here and explore the ship. Sneaking out, they began to climb the stairs to the higher decks. Looking down the one corridor, they see two beautiful doors. Curiosity gets the best of them and they approach the doors and open them slowly and what they see amazes them. A beautiful dining room is filled with the smell of delicious food. Suddenly, a waiter shows up and says, come, take a place at the table. Hesitant, but very eager, the brothers, brother and sister sit down and begin to eat a fantastic meal. At the same time, the father and mother awaken to find their children gone. They set out fanatically searching the ship, both angry and frightened at the same time. The parents find the same shiny glass door and peek through the windows. Horrified, they see their little boy and girl eating this fantastic meal. They rush toward them and say to the children, what are you doing? How can we ever pay for this meal? The waiter who speaks their language explains something that the parents and the children did not know. Three wonderful meals were provided each passenger for the price of their ticket. In other words, instead of eating cheese and old bread for a week, they could have been participating in this beautiful banquet all along, three times a week, three times a day. And the family ate a wonderful meal, laughed, and all was forgiven. 
the rest of their journey was so much more pleasant than they could ever hope for or imagine. Boys and girls, your life is like a journey on a great ship. Your parents, relatives, friends accompany you on this journey and are with you today in person or watching via live stream. You, like the children in the story, are curious about many things. You have been taught about God and about our church in preparation for this sacrament of your first Holy Communion. Today, you climb the stairs of this sacramental and enter the church great banquet which is the sacrament of the Eucharist. Today, you eat at the Lord's table. Today, you share this beautiful building with your families, this gift that God has given us for the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Parents, relatives, and friends of our First Communion children, we know that the recent passage on our great ship of life has been a rough ride. During the health crisis, we have been challenged by so many changes in circumstances and emotions, like the parents in the story. We have both an anxiety and some fear about our past and present and even our future. Coming together in person or virtually in the Eucharist is the way that we share in the sacrament of the Eucharist, which gives us spiritual nourishment, spiritual nourishment by listening to God's word, which gives us courage. Coming together in person or virtually in the Eucharist is the way that we are make the spiritual communion or physical communion, and both of those types receiving gives us the very strength of God, not only to endure the challenges, but to flourish with them. The Eucharist is the mo most po powerful way that God literally touches us and enters us. We receive him in the body and blood of Christ in this great sacrament. Physically or virtually, God cannot be outdone in generosity. Even though we are limited in our ability to join physically together, God is not limited in God's desire to help us and in God's power to give us all that we need at this very time. In our opening story, this sacrament of Eucharist is a banquet that is always available to us. This is a day for the First Communion, and our invitation is that it will be not the, just the first one, but the first of many. Whether you join us weekly here at church or virtually online, do not deny yourself, both adults and children, this opportunity to be nourished, strengthened, and encouraged by God's word and the reception of this sacrament. Boys and girls, in our opening story, we had those children and their parents. When they came to this banquet, when they came to this dining room, they received more than nourishment. They received more than strengthening. They received more than encouragement. Because they, en they entered the banquet room, they were able to do for the first time to see beyond their circumstances, 
by looking out at the beautiful windows and seeing the ocean. A bright new future and the warmth and beauty of the sun. That brilliant Saturday morning. My prayer and our prayer as the parish community for you is that you not only today but weekly climb the stairs to the banquet of the Eucharist. Push open the doors of this church or open your live streaming device to join us online. May you be welcomed by our beautiful music and encouraged by God's word. Nourished by physical and spiritual communion. Given the gift of hope by looking beyond our circumstances to God's promise of God's providence in our future. Bask in the warmth of the light of God's love and know that on this journey of life, on the ship on which we sail, we are given the banquet of the Eucharist. So pray with us. Hear God's words with us. Partake in our spiritual or virtual communion. Join in our community in giving God's thanks Encourage one another as we journey together on this ship of life to the promised life. In a few moments, you boys and girls will share in the spiritual banquet. We rejoice with you, we celebrate with you, and we pray for you. And now, we will share in our prayer of the faithful one more step closer to sharing the banquet of the Eucharist, which awaits for you all. Amen.